In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a registration form in Word. And this is what we'll achieve by the end of this tutorial. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Online Office Teacher, where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's get started. Having opened Word, the first thing I do is enter the title of my form. Hit enter. Next, I enter address. Hit enter. Now enter phone number. I press enter twice. The next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and insert a table. So I go over to insert and I click on table. And I'll insert a table of four columns, three rows. I have it right here. I click to insert my table. Next, I go ahead and make the top row by highlighting all. Then I go over to table tools. I click on layout. Then under merge group, I click on merge cells. Then I go ahead and enter in my text. Next, I click inside this cell and I enter name. And the following three cells, I will highlight them up and I go ahead and make them. In here, I enter gender. Here, I enter date of birth. I exit out of this table and I hit enter. And I'm going to go ahead and insert a new table. So I go to insert table. I'll insert a table of two columns, four rows, like this. First of all, I'll make the top row. Highlight it, go over to layout under table tools. Then I click on merge cells. Then I enter contact information. In the next cell below, I enter residential address. Next, I enter email. And finally, phone. The next thing I do is go ahead and reduce the width of this column right here. So to do that, I hover on the line here. And I click on it to move it to this match. Perfect. I exit out of this table and I hit enter. Next, I insert a new table. I click on table and it's going to be one column, two rows like this. To the first row, I enter last school attended. And I exit out of this table, hit enter. Next, I enter courses. Hit enter. And I'll go ahead and list my courses. I've entered the list of my courses. Next, I enter. How did you hear about us? Hit enter. And I say newspaper. I hit the tab key on the keyboard. Another one, website. I hit the tab key twice again. I enter friend. Another tab key twice. Then I enter order. Then I go ahead and hit enter, another enter, then I enter payment terms. I agree to pay fees in advance by, I hit enter. The first one will be card. I press tab key so that it will be in line with the website on top here. I have cash and finally check. Perfect. I hit enter twice or maybe another one. Then I enter student signature. And I'll provide a line by holding down shift. Then I press the dash key like this. I hit tab, another tab, then I enter date. And I provide another line. Oops. Perfect. So these are all the information I want to have on my form. So I start customizing it from the top. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and center this text. So I highlight it. Then I click on center. That is under home tab. And I'm going to go ahead and make the heading bold. So I select only the heading. Then I make it bold. I can also increase the size to 20. 
and I want to close the gap in between the address and the phone number. So what I do is I highlight both, then I go over to line spacing under paragraph group, I click on spacing, and then the after, I make it 0 PT, then I go ahead and click on OK. Perfect. Next thing I do is go to this table and I'll apply a shading to this particular heading. I just click inside the cell, then I go over to the paragraph group under home, then I click on shading and I choose black. So upon choosing black, the text will now change to white. One other thing I want to do is make it bold, so I just highlight it and I click on bold. I also want to bold the text here, so I just select it, I click on bold, I do the same thing right here, bold. So the same formatting I did on top here, I'll do the same thing to this table as well as this. So I'll do this pretty quick. Perfect. Next, I highlight courses, then I make it bold as well as apply shading to it. Going down, I want to provide checkboxes to my courses so that students can go ahead and tick the particular courses they want to take. And I want to do it at the front here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and provide some space so that I push the text inside a bit. So to do that, I'll just highlight everything right here. Then I'll go over to the ruler on top and I'm going to go ahead and move it. So to move it, make sure you hold the bottom part of the ruler. So I click on it and I drag it inside up to one. Awesome. Then I can go ahead and provide my checkboxes. So to do that, I go over to insert and I click on shapes. I choose rectangle and I draw a square right here. I don't want it to have a feel, so I select it and I go over to drawing tools, click on shape format and the shape feel, I drop down the arrow and I choose no feel. The outline, I'm going to change it to black. Perfect. Next, I go ahead and duplicate this checkbox for the rest of the three courses. So I select it, then I hold down control key on the keyboard and press D in order to duplicate. I duplicate again and duplicate for the third time. So now I'll go ahead and align them. Perfect. Next, I select this heading, then I make it bold and also provide shading. In here as well, I'm going to go ahead and provide checkboxes. So first thing I do is highlight the whole of this text and I move it inside a bit, just like the first one. Then I go ahead and duplicate one of these boxes by pressing Ctrl D on the keyboard and I take it here. I'll duplicate this again, then I move it right here. I do the same for the rest of the two. Similarly, I go ahead and do the same formatting as I did here for this particular text. So with this one, if I need the checkboxes, I can easily select this, hold down control key on the keyboard, then I select the rest of the two here. I duplicate it, they are still selected, then I just go ahead and grab the first one or one of them and place it at where I want it. Now that's all the formatting I want to do. Maybe I can add two more features, that is a logo for my form, as well as provide a space where students will attach their photo. So first of all, to insert my logo, I click in front of the school registration form, then I hit enter, then I click on top back here. Next, I go over to insert, I click on pictures, this device, then I go ahead and choose my logo, click on insert. The logo is too big. As a result, it is now giving me two pages. You see that the signature has gone to the next page. I don't want that. So I can go ahead and reduce the size of the logo like this. Next, I want to provide some more space right here. So I just click in here, then I hit enter. Another enter. Don't worry of getting two pages. I'll just go ahead and decrease this margin right here by pointing on the ruler in between the gray portion and the white portion and move it up like this. I can do the same thing down here. Perfect. Next, I'll go ahead and insert a shape here for the photo. So I'll go over to insert and I click on shapes. 
and I'm going to go ahead and choose rectangle and I'll go ahead and draw it right here I don't need the shape fill so I go over to shape fill then I choose no fill shape outline I'll make it black perfect and now the design of my registration form is done so that's it on how to create a registration form in Word. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching, and I will see you in the next one.